All around the world, people depend on markets for their lives and livelihoods. And mostly, market systems can adapt to changing conditions. A bad harvest locally can often be compensated by surplus from another area a little further away. When an emergency happens, if markets are functioning well, we can give cash or vouchers to those affected so they can buy what they need. And if markets are not functioning well enough to meet the needs, we might also need to deliver assistance ourselves with our own supply chains. Then, when markets are functioning again, we can go back to delivering with the local market system. It's important to be agile and be able to switch when we need to. But what more could we do? How could we help local markets recover faster? This might mean improving the supply chain while we're delivering humanitarian assistance. Helping small distributors or traders with access to fuel so they can keep delivering. Or even giving cash grants to producers to help them replace lost livestock or increase production to meet the needs. And how can we strengthen markets before an emergency so they are more resilient? OK, we don't often know exactly where an emergency will happen, but we do know our most vulnerable countries, where emergencies happen most often. We can assess their market systems before the next emergency, look back at how it functioned in the last crisis, and we can work with others to identify opportunities for market strengthening. There might be big things we can do, like improving infrastructure, strengthening critical roads, transport routes. We might be able to support small traders or groups of traders in critical markets. Whether they're struggling with storage, transport, distribution and scale, access to credit, skills, or even equipment. There are lots of things we can do to strengthen vulnerable markets and make the whole supply chain more resilient to the next emergency. To strengthen markets, we need to know our vulnerable supply chains, and invest in improvements now, before the next emergency happens.